Hi guys, and welcome to the Ace Tanker for the FTAC, the Tier 2 French TD, and this is the final voyage of the crew AMX-40. After my AMX-40 challenge, I uh, went back and I got all the Ace Tankers in the low tier French tanks I had previously missed, and this is the last one. This is the FTAC. And uh, after this game, I sold this tank and moved my crew into the French Arty line, which is the only uh, line on the French I haven't gone down yet. So my AMX-40 crew are currently sitting in the Tier 2 French Arty, but I'm not going to be grinding another French uh, or another Arty line. I'm already grinding the Americans. So this isn't a great game, but then again, it's a low-tier game. What are you expecting? We are here on Malinovka, and it's an all-tier 2 battle, so a perfect opportunity to get an ace tanker. So, uh, let's go. I'm on times 2, and uh, I'm just going to head over to the left flank to begin with. So, there are some good players on the enemy team, plus quite a few T-18s. So, T-26 is spotted. And I've been spotted, so I've taken two shots already. I pull back. And I don't know why I decide to hang around here, but I do. So, not getting shots in. That's the guy who was shooting at me. He is now dead. And we don't have anyone going up the 9-0 lines. We've got no one heading over to the other side of the map. And I'm starting, you can see me glancing over there. I'm starting to wonder, is this going to be another ruffle stump? Oh, the joys of low-tier games. So I decide to put two lines of bushes between me and the enemy tanks. Just going to speed it up here. So, more tanks being spotted over on the other flank, but I don't have shots. And I'm kind of a little bit indecisive. And then I notice that a Jag, or a Panzer Jaeger 1, has just killed our Arty on the 9-0 lines. We've got an AT-1 moving over there, so I probably need to get over there. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I notice the AT-1 that went over there has died to a T-18. So there's a T-18 over there as well that we we're aware of. And then I have second thoughts. I think, right, you know what, I'm just going to plant myself down in these bushes. T-18 has just killed a D-1. So I'm going to let my Binox and Camo Net do the work for me. So... There's a T1 spotted. I managed to bounce. And a Panzer Jaeger is spotted. So, missing my shots. I've done a whole 59 damage so far. PZ2 spotted in the middle. Okay, he's down. Chini spotted. And my shooting isn't the best. Oh, he stopped. Alright, he's dead. So in the meantime, the T1 and Panzer Jaeger have advanced. But I'm not going to get shots on these guys. So I figure I'm just going to have to wait for them to come to me. There's a T-18 who was spotted in the bushes over here. So let's pre-aim. And there he is. So first shot goes in. Second shot goes in. And how I'm not killing him, I don't know. So we're bouncing. Thought that was a kill shot. Thought that was a kill shot. But nope, I'm bouncing. Another T-18 spotted. And again, I bounce. The gun arc on this TD isn't very good, so you see me constantly having to adjust. Alright, so that T-18 is down, and the two tanks that were behind us are dead, and it's still a 50-50 game. 
So I pre-aimed to where the T-18 was, but he's moved, he's advancing. And again, the gun arc is causing me problems. Miss my shot, and miss my kill shot. So very, very small gun arc. Made this tank pretty much a pain in the ass to play. So two more enemy tanks have appeared on the uh, other flank, and there are still three tanks that have not yet been spotted. So I hang here to see if I can get some shots. I'm going to put it back up to times two. And then a PZ-38H appears behind us. So, I've got no shots, missed my opportunity, and I've just got to be patient. It's still a 50-50 game. In fact, we're actually losing at the moment. So, I was going to wait for those two, but I decided that the PZ-38H is probably a, a more of a uh, priority. So, we're just hanging here, waiting for the PZ-38H to appear. Those guys are both dead. And again, we're being patient. Okay, he's appeared. Oh, I don't have a lot to shoot at. Don't have a lot to shoot at. Okay, we got him. I've been spotted. Someone took a shot at me, but it missed. Probably enemy RT. There we go. Now, something's wrong with the replay. I am aiming at his cupola. So it l I know it looks as if I wasn't, but I was. There we go. So, PZ-38H is dead. Time to get out of here. And it is time to advance. So we put it back up on times two. So we turn that around. T-60 appears. I've got no shots and he dies before I can get there. So now it's just enemy RT. And there he is. Okay, T-57 heavy. Missed my first shot. Second shot goes in, and again, the narrow gun arc is causing problems. And there we go. Kill number four. So I told you it wasn't a very exciting game. So there we have it. That's what you need to do to get an ace tanker in an FTAC. No other medals, just the ace tanker. Uh, we finished top on XP with 790 and 727 damage and 4 kills. So not bad considering it was tier 2. We fired 38 shots, 20 hits and 17 penetrations. So. Yeah, I'd l I think it's fair to say I didn't like this tank very much, mainly down to its uh, poor gun arc. The gun is pretty good, but the gun arc is horrible, and it means you have to constantly, constantly have to re-aim your shots as tanks move in and out of your uh, gun arc. We, uh... Eh, yeah, all that's not important. Did we detect any enemies? Again, it's broken. Yes, we detected three enemies. Uh, damaged 8, destroyed 4, and we even managed to do 157 damage upon detecting. We earned just under 15,000 credits and 1185 XP with uh, a premium account times 2, left me on 2,370. So, not a bad game, not a great game, but that's what you need to do to get an ace tanker in the FTAC. And uh, that was the final voyage of the former AMX-40 crew. Next time you see those boys, it'll be in French RT, but uh, I'm in no hurry to start playing French RT. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.